Thanks for tuning in. Last week, as you recall, we traveled to the Polk County Correctional Institution with Jack Murph the Surf Murphy and his Bill Glass Champions for Life Ministry program. Over 100 riders showed up to actually ride into the prison facility, stage a bike show, and a motorcycle slow race and deliver words of promise and hope to the people who desperately need to hear their message. Tonight, we bring you part two of this inspirational mission to bring to others their stories of hope, forgiveness, redemption, and salvation. This is a story of bikers making a true difference, not only in their community, but in the long run for mankind itself. And it's all coming up right now, right here, only on Born to Ride. Hi, this is Fran Hock. I never miss reading my copy of Born to Ride magazine, and neither should you. Born to Ride, number one. I'm publisher Ron Galetti, and I approve this message. See, I have been here. I have been where they at. So I'm trying to, you know, just let them know. You know, it's a better thing, man. It's a better man. Without Jesus, you know, you ain't got nothing. Introduce yourselves and where you from? I'm that thing you're faking. I'm from Tampa. I go to Triumph and Church Fellowship. We just walked through the door and already spoke to two brothers, man, and it's awesome. It's, this is an exciting thing to do for God, you know, witnessing people, win some brothers, let them know they still got hope, no matter what their situation is. We all have problems. But you know what, letting them know that, you know what, God still loves you. You might be here for a reason. You know, God places you in the reason. Nothing is, nothing is an accident. 
So we just gonna encourage them, let them know, you know, when you leave these doors, it's on for the Jesus Christ. Yeah, the past is the past, right? That's right. Let the past be the past and move ahead. Just realize who you are and who or whose you are. And let God handle the rest of that. You know what excited me is that we are different races up in here. This is the first time I've experienced something like this, so I'm I'm amazed myself. You know, unfortunately, I don't have a bike, but I didn't let that keep me from coming here. But to see all the different races and come together under one accord, and that's to lift up Jesus Christ, man, it's gonna be some awesome stuff happening in here. And I just can't wait to see the miracles that God's gonna perform up in this place. Yeah, this good time. Here. We're gonna race them in uh, Poke City here. We got everything in the world here. We got rice burners and hogs, homemade things. We got crotch rockets. We got a, this is the this is the team here, and we're gonna race them down here. The only thing is that you can't do a whole lot of racing in the joint, and so we're gonna have a slow race. Whoever can go the slowest without touching the ground. Got a little music in the background. We all have lunch together. We had a good time here. Lights come on, period. There was no doubt. All I could do stand up and shout, cause I was tired. Well, I was tired of a good time. It makes no difference. Waiting time. Life without Jesus, you know. Yeah, there's still time. Yeah. Please remember when you're out on the road to look twice and save a life. Motorcycles are everywhere. Do you get our monthly exclusive newsletter? Sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today. People saying that we would die in the prison. So we relate to some of you guys out here who are just holding on, gasping for air. I got my man Buzzle over here. We just got him out after 28 years in the system here. Some of you know the boss over here. But what I want to tell you is don't ever, ever give up, my man. Don't ever give up because there's going to come a day when that gate's going to open for you. And you're going back there out on the other side into the battlefield out there. Don't ever give up. But while you're here, do the best you can with this, what you got here. Do the best you can to be a... To to be a real man in here, to be a real guy, that your word and your honor is good in here. Do something every day to make yourself better, to make it a better life for you and the guys around you there. It makes a difference. You can make a difference while you're in the joint. You can make a difference. And you know what? You got to do that for you. And you got to quit worrying about what other people think. And you got to start doing what you know is the right thing to do. Because you know what? There ain't nobody here stupid. Hallelujah. Okay, stay right there a minute. Stay right there a minute. One of, the men, one of the men that works with us is an old guy, he's about 78 years old now, and he's strong as a, strong as a horse. Man, and he's, he's just all muscled up, and he's got a real long ponytail and a lot of gold on, and he's got an elephant, an elephant named Donde, and we take him into the prisons in uh, the Carolinas and different places, and he tells a story about when he was a kid, he had a lot of dreams. He wanted to travel, and he wanted to meet people, and he wanted to do things, but he woke up one day and he was in San Quentin Penitentiary. 
He had 35 years he was doing in San Quentin Penitentiary, looking never to get out. He said that while he was locked up in the penitentiary, some people came in like today, and they introduced him to the Dream Keeper. He said, this elephant and I have traveled all over the world. We have performed for kings and queens and governors and presidents. We have been in the movies. We've been on television. He said, far beyond anything that I ever, ever dreamed. He says, the dream maker, his name is Jesus. The dream maker Amen. made it happen. Now, this man right here, we used to sit in prison, and we'd talk about what kind of dream. If we ever got out, what would you like to do? Man, I want to go someplace. I want to do some things. Yeah. Now, where were you last month when I called you? Where did you call and go last month, man? Tell about it. We were to Ireland and England. All over Ireland, man. Every city in Ireland and England, man. We had, uh, you know. You know what, man? Speaking of that, uh, let me just add a little bit of that. Man, I've been to Mexico. I've been to Cayman Islands, man. I've been to Ireland. I've been to England. I've been to California two or three times. I've been to Colorado. I've been to Chicago, Detroit, Tennessee. Polk City. Polk City. Polk City, baby. <laughs> I, and I left out a lot of places, man, you know? And so, you know, I've been all over, and i still got a lot of places to go. But you know what? I go where the Lord takes me, man, you know? And, and, and you know, he, 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 he took me out of here. He, he, he took me out of here, and he set my, put, my feet upon solid ground, man. And you know what? The doors that opened, it wasn't the doors that I opened, man. I didn't even know what I was going to do. But he knew what I was going to do, man. That's right. Just like he knows what you'll do and what he has for you, you know. They always used to say, God has a plan for your life. And I used to say, oh yeah, man, what kind of plan could God possibly have for me? Man, I'm doing a, two, a double life in 15 years. But, but you know what I found out? God does have a plan for my life. He did have a plan for my life. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the plan he's got for my life. Yeah. And he's got one for you, brother. I'm telling you, man. Okay. He's got it for you. Yeah, I'm Chaplain Abdul Al Khatib, uh, Supervising Chaplain of Polk Correctional Institution, and on behalf of the men of Polk Correctional Institution, the administration, staff, and officers, I would like to thank Bill Glass Ministries for this outstanding biker event here uh, today. We had a tremendous uh, support from the uh, biker community throughout the state of Florida. As well, we had a tremendous support from the inmate population who very much appreciates Bill Glass Ministries and its programs. Uh, we've had Bill Glass coming here for a number of years, so it's always an exciting opportunity for us, and we look forward to their return. Colonel Sylvia Bodison, Chief Correctional Officer of Polk Correctional Institution, Warden Tadlock is the warden. Warden uh, Hill and Young are my assistant wardens. On behalf of the Department of Correction, Mr. McDonough, we truly appreciate the Bill Glass Crusade coming out to our institution today and sharing the word with the inmates. And I'm surely impressed that one of them got something positive today and it will not only last during this institutional stay, but once they go home to their families. And I'm sure that it would affect the outside world as well as the public community and what have you. Everybody seemed to enjoy themselves as well as the volunteers. I truly want to personally thank my staff for coming in today and assisting me with this event. Everything went smooth, it was professionally done, and hopefully they will come back again and share this crusade with Pope C.I. Our job is not a nine to five job. We have a different thing happen every day, but it's good to have something different to come in with some positivity involved. Oh yes, tremendous motorcycles. Uh, the, site, the bikes are very beautiful and the inmates truly enjoyed the, uh, the little uh, program they put on for them. We all had a good time and the program was very well, you know, appreciated and we benefited from it. My name is Tommy Young. I'm the Assistant Warden of Programs here at Polk uh, CI. I'd like to thank Bill Glass Ministry. This was the first opportunity that I've had to be a uh, part of and witness uh, what's going on with Bill Glass uh, Ministries. Uh, they did a fantastic job here at Polk. Uh, it was like uh, clockwork. Everything went well. We appreciate any uh, opportunity to uh, give our inmates uh, fellowship, guidance, hope, and again, I'd like to thank uh, Bill Glass Ministry. Uh, certainly, like to thank uh, the warden, uh, Mr. Tadlock, and uh, Warden Hill for their support. Thanks again. 
I think the inmates, uh, they did uh, enjoy the uh, ministry and the fellowship, and uh, it certainly will aid them in uh, their, their lives, and uh, you never know what might uh, come up from uh, uh, a program like this. We do care, and again, anything that uh, we can do, as long as you know, we can keep people safe, we're going to try to do because it's a benefit to the inmates and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to give them something that uh, may change some of them's life. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. And what's really neat is to be on the ground floor. And this is it. That's the ground floor. Never in the history of penitentiaries anywhere this side of the Mississippi have they had this many motorcycles go into one penitentiary. Have we had the favor of the Department of Corrections to do that? And uh, so apparently we're on, on the right road, and uh, the high road is the right road, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen, okay? okay. And we wanna thank, what, what, okay, here's our decisions here. Uh, first time decisions, 75 total. Well, uh, both yeah. Yeah. Uh, total decisions for this one day event were 185 men. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, to say, a decision means that a guy made a choice to ask Jesus Christ into their life as their manager, as their coach, as their friend, as their Lord and their Savior. And it's that decision that makes all the difference in the world and in eternity. And so when a man or a woman makes that decision to join the family of God and to trust God, that's the beginning of a new life. That's an, and those people, we have, we have uh, 90,000 people locked up in Florida and Oh, about 60% of them will return to prison when they get out of prison, unless they make this decision, follow it up with the church when they get out of prison, and then less than 10% of them ever come back to prison, ever go back to crime, ever go back to drugs. So what we're doing here saves taxpayers millions of dollars. It saves the neighborhood a whole lot of crime and problem. It restores families and it, it increases the kingdom. And that's what we do here. We don't represent this club or that club or this church or that club. Church, we represent the kingdom. We're kingdom people. We just happen to wear some different shirts and all. And the kingdom of God is on a roll. And we want to thank Born to Ride magazine and television company for covering this so that people know we got bikers all over the country riding around in circles wanting something to do you want something to do you saddle up with the kingdom riders here go with us into these prisons and be blessed thank you very much Woo! Woo! Yeah!